Hello everyone. <clears throat> Happy hump day. Oh, we're going to do a couple different things tonight. We are going to do a denim tumbler. Not start to finish, but um, start a denim tumbler, I should say. And we're going to be doing a couple of tiles just to demonstrate pouring with resin. Um, and we're going to use all pearlescent powders tonight. So, get your beverage. I'm going to put you down on the table. And we're going to get started on the tumbler. So, if you tune in late and I've already started, you can always watch it when the live is over. And um, go back and watch it at your convenience. Okay? Alright, guys. Here we go. where you can see really good. Okay, how's that look? Can you see that? All right, basically all I did was pick out some parts of the jeans that I like and some different things that I'm going to want on my cup. Um, and then, of course, I've, I'm going to do a skinny cup tonight. And I primed it, and then I also... Uh, painted it white as my base okay and next I mixed up um, I used a couple of different shades of blue and I also used a metallic um, just to get a real denim looking color okay so I'm gonna go kind of fast because if we're gonna do a resin tile or two tonight I'm gonna have to get busy all right, so what I'm basically going to do is paint this cup. Um, I want to go long ways um, because it is going to streak. I'm going to start out trying this uh, big brush, bigger brush, I should say. And you're going to have to kind of be um, a little fast at it. You don't want your paint to start drying too much. It's okay that you're having the lines. That's actually going to be part of it. <clears throat> Don't worry about your edge. You can go back and clean that up with an X-Acto. Super easy. Um, just takes a couple seconds. So I don't ever worry about that. And if you get any acrylic paint inside your cup, you can definitely get it off with alcohol. Um, so you can tape them, but I didn't. I have before. Um, I just didn't. Uh, honey, let me know if anybody pops on and I need to say hi to. Uh, Joy, Sherry, and Lizette. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Okay, I've just kind of painted that. Now I'm going to get my bottom here. Now, I'm not going to worry about my bottom too much just yet. Of course, this is going to need to dry when I'm done for at least um, probably a full day. It's not going to be very thick, so it should dry pretty fast. Okay. Now that I've got that done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it on my denim. Okay, and I have kind of already pre-done this so that I know kind of how it's going to lay. And what you're going to do is just push it down on your cup. Try not to scoot your denim. Just press down firmly. Okay, now we're going to roll back. Okay. Be very careful when you're peeling your denim or off your cup. And here you go. What you think? What you think? What you think? Now, if you've got a spot like here and you 
prefer that it have um, more of a denim look, you can just take a piece in here, lay it down on there, just kind of tap it down and lift it off. Okay, now we've got our bottom to do, of course. So I just cut a little circle with the seam and I'm just gonna lay that on there Press it down, press it down, press it down, and then peel it off. There you go. Now when this is done, um, I'll probably, actually I did this kind of upside down, but I think it'll be okay. I should have done it the other way, flipped my cup the other way. I don't know what I was thinking. That'll be okay, though. It's not going to matter. I'll probably put, like, butterflies or, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do yet on it. Okay, we're going to let that dry. I'm just going to put it over on my drying rack and let it dry. And you can always reuse this um, a time or two. But once it gets packed with paint, um, then you have a harder time getting your... Um, denim pattern to show up so I do I've done pumpkins I've done all kinds of stuff that way it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. all right now I'm going to take off these gloves and I am going to get our resin tray and we're going to start on the resin Okay, we are going to be using tonight um, the Let's Resin uh, Iridescent Pearlescent Pigments Powders um, in this project. And we might use some alcohol inks for fun. Um, I've got them out here, so if we decide we want to use some of those, well, we will. All right, we're gonna mix up some resin. And I don't know how many colors we're gonna use, so I'm just gonna grab a stack of cups. Uh, if I can get them out of here. Let's get a stack of cups there. All right, we're gonna turn our scale on here. Let me get, um, bigger cups to weigh this. All right, let me set the tear on this. Okay. Start. I'm going right at 60 grams for tonight, just to make sure I have enough um, set that aside. Oops. Lay that down. Let me check that. Something's not right on that. That says 61. Okay. So we'll go 61. Thick. Ooh. Overshot it. Overshot it. Overshot it. That's quite a bit, actually. So I gotta put some back. Let's see where we're at now. I'm Short. Oh, I hate it when I don't nail it right on the money. Sixty-one. All right. Just gonna recheck this. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. All right. 
Here we go. Let me get my nitrile gloves on. Make sure you're using these guys because it's pain in the butt to get that resin off your fingers and some of it's not safe. If you're just using, make sure you use a FDA approved epoxy if you're doing something that's going to have food contact. This is a casting resin, so, all right, I'm just going to add these together and start the stirring process because that's going to take a few minutes. I'm probably going to um, hitch my husband to that task. Oh, Stirring resin while I get some pigments ready. picked out. Yeah. I'm not ready just yet. I'm still scraping it all out. Doris, Ronnie, Lori. Hello, everyone. Lori Cochran. Hello, Lori. Hello, Lori. Ronnie. Lori Martin. Hello, Lori Martin. Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer Jubeck. Yep. Hello, sweet girl. All Donna, right. Donna. Hello, Donna. My sweet Donna. All right. Here you go, babe. Just try to keep the stick kind of down in the resin while you stir, but and make sure you go scraping the sides every so often, like really scraping the sides and... Um, going down in that groove on the bottom so that you get it all mixed together good all right guys now I'm going to pick out some pigments let's just get a few cups ready here let's put some in um I know I want to do black so whoops why that sticking on there it come from? It's been up in the lid. Oh. oh shoot! There. All right. I'm gonna have. Oh, what am I doing? Good God! I don't know what I'm doing, sister. I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm gonna have quite a bit of black. So I'm gonna put quite a bit in there. Turn my spoon over would help. I need to get some new glasses, y'all. I can't see crap. Okay. Now I'm going to do some gold. Put some of that in there. And let's see. Let's go with... Um, this pretty well that's red um watermelon red bluish green that might be pretty we'll do a bluish green i love bluish greens turquoises okay let's do one more color what are we gonna do <clears throat> let's see let's see how about some pearl? Just some white. Let's see if I can wipe this off. I don't want to get that in my powder. Okay. All right. How's our resin coming? It's a stir. Is it all mixed real good? I think so. Is it clear? It's clear. Steam bubbles up. Just gonna sit those in there for right now. We'll clean those up after a while. All right. Put these over here. So we just grabbed a couple colors. All right. I'll take it. All right, y'all, got this resin. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some into my cups here. Quite a bit in there. Ooh, that might have been a little too much. Because I do want to keep some clear. All right, we'll leave a little 
little bit down in there. All right, let me get a couple of sticks. Let's mix these up. Ooh -wee. Look how pretty. These pearlescent colors are, oh, they're so pretty. I want to move fast because I want my um, resin to stay very fluid. Mix up this black. It's pretty. Ooh, very pretty. Make sure you get that all mixed up real good, that powder. It's going to get to sit for just a second, so that's good. Ooh, it's popping out all over me. Going a little crazy. I mean, slow down. I'm messy anyway. I just see him. I go after it like crazy. Oh, get her done. All right. Oh, man. I got some of that green in there. It went crazy and flopped around in there. All right. That's pretty good. Oh, this pearl is pretty. Look at that. All right. That sit just a second so those bubbles will come out of there a little bit. And then we'll start do, doing a cup. We're just going to do a couple of these tonight. So you can see some of these. I picked up these tiles and I didn't realize they have a little bit of kind of some slight little dips. But I think it's still going to be okay. So. We ain't gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna put a couple cups down here and those look kind of a different color. Throw some tiles on here, put those in the middle. You're gonna wanna babysit these um, the way I'm gonna show you. There's lots of ways to do this, but um, babysitting these because once your resin is on there, you're want, gonna wanna kind of scrape these to keep those drips down. Um, and it will help, okay? So that you don't have those big drips you then have to deal with with your um, little sander or whatever. Okay, now these tiles earlier, I wiped them down with alcohol. I have not sanded or anything. These have a bit of a texture to them, just a little bit. They're not so smooth, so we're just going to do them like it is. Okay. So, I'm going to use this cup for my pour cup. And what I'm going to do is start off by putting some black in my cup. Now, I want to put just a thin layer of clear in between. And now I'm going to go gold. Layer of gold. And I'm going to go a little layer of clear. Now I'm going to go green. Give it a quick stir. Over the top there. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm kind of talking kind of quiet, which I don't typically do. I'm a loud mouth. Can't help it. I just am. A little clear. And then we're going to start all over with our layer. Black. Gold. I didn't put clear in between these. And then you're just going to pour it like you do your paintings. Now, you can, um, let me go ahead and set up because I like to kind of um, pour a couple at a time. So I move my cup around um, because you get 
different colors. bit different pattern on that one. Okay. Spilling over. Now I'm just going to kind of rotate it. Just like we do when we do our paintings. It starts getting to where you can't get it to um, move then you can slightly heat it up it's very subtle using these pearl part powders but it's very pretty you probably can't see any of the detail on the camera but I'll show you here in a bit Step my finger right on. The clear is resin, right? Yes. It's all resin with pigment powder. Ronnie was asking that. Dora says those would make great Christmas gifts. Yes. Kathy said, hey girl. Hey girl! Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too. Just kind of lightly touching that. Alright, I'm going to hold this up here in my hand. And maybe you can see um, how it looks. They're very pretty. And then you can put a decal or you could put, um, you know, a saying or a Bible verse. Um, whoop, drop them. And I'm basically just going to, I am going to hit this one with a torch though because it's wanting to cool up, cool off a bit. Pop some bubbles. heat it up just a bit so it will run a little bit better I'm just kind of leaving my finger there so I don't get a whole entire load of resin running down the side less to babysit the better Oop. my gloves get slippery Gonna kind of walk this down to that corner. And there you go. Can you guys see that? I can't tell how well you can see it. They're very pretty though. Very subtle. It's not like when you're pouring them with acrylic. Um and you get just really defined colors. You can use other pigments and not all pearlescent. But I wanted these to look more like marble. Um, which 
They do. I love how they look. She's using my glove to create a barrier there. Coat my corners. Oh, they're so pretty. I can't wait to bring you in for a close-up. So, yes. Now, we're going to um, do an alcohol ink really quick. Um, I'm going to have to pull these gloves off, though. Because I don't want that pearl, pearl essence all over yet. Everything else, and I probably... Hey, babe. Oh, he's outside. And I forgot my, uh... Hey, Monty. Yeah? Would you grab me a pair of nitrile gloves off the wagon shelf, please? Okay. I only brought one pair in. And... show you what I do um, to my paint when I have a cup full of paint because I do want to do a couple more of these denim tumblers so um, oops, I don't worry about it a whole lot if I'm gonna do it in the next couple days I just take this oops oops totally push that too hard um, just kind of snugly push that down on there and it seals your paint in there thank you Okay, I need a nitrile glove because I'm going to be touching this. All right, guys, we're just going to pour this on. Let me move that over there so that hopefully this will be up. It's a little bit closer. Okay, what I want to do is use my clear here. more than enough on this tile. Just want to put a coat all over it. Do your sides, your corners. covered. Hopefully you got your sides covered. Kind of hard to tell. All right. Now, let me pop some bubbles. Because there's some bubbles on there. Um, a little dent I want to fill in there. All right, now we're just gonna drop some inks. I'm gonna use um, an Indigo Blue by Ranger. Brett Johnson, Michelle Williams, Sandy. Hello. Anna Nail, no. Hello, hello. little white over the top. These are neat and fun. Now I'll turn some purple in there. Little blue green. These inks do all kinds of really cool, fun things when you're dripping them on there. Let's see, let's go with like, um, a brown mixed in with this. I don't know. Just for the heck of it. Yeah. Woo wee! Look at that. That's fun. Alright, we're going to 
put a little white in those. Lighten that up just a tiny bit. And let it do its thing. I wish you could see it up close. I'm going to come get you. It's fun to watch. Maybe I can do another one with you up close. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Sweet babies. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to show you something else you can do with these alcohol inks, which is kind of fun, too. Is I have my alcohol in a spray bottle. Whoops, I'm covering the camera. And you can spray it. And then it starts doing all these awesome things. So, yeah. That's kind of fun. All right, I'm going to let you take a look at these. Look how subtle, and I wish you could see the pop. It doesn't seem to be showing up real well on the camera, but they're beautiful and subtle. You know, oh, that ring light is kind of giving me fits. There, does that help a little bit? Mm. Anyway, back at this one. Look at that. Isn't that fun? You can use whatever colors you want. Just drip them on there. I got a spot there I need to deal with. Put a little resin on. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe a fingerprint, oil fingerprint when I was picking them up. You want to make sure you have those off because you'll get that. Okay. And back. Take a peek real quick at the denim tumbler. I am working on a peekaboo back there. It's not done yet. Hope my mother-in-law doesn't see that. Because that will not be good. That's a Christmas present. Um, and here's another peekaboo I'm working on. I love this one. It's so cool. Serape glitter back behind. Can you see that? Doesn't have epoxy on it yet, but that will come later. Yes, it, there are cells. Doris, it's kind of cool. It's so fun, too, and the more you put on, I mean, I do all kinds of different stuff with it. Sometimes I'll, you know, put inks on it two or three different times just to get um, a different look. Or I'll go back and use my leftover pigments and lay some through, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. It's kind of fun. I can show you that just since we're just playing with it. See right here? I filled that spot with that black. But then you could take like your green pigments and just lay some. Like this. That makes it. Oop. It's hard to do holding this phone. Makes it super interesting. I could go in and do some gold on it. Anyway, fun. Whatever you want to do. Just play. All right, guys. I hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're not um, signed up on Artist Success Group, please get over and do that. We've got some great artists on there. And there is a weekly challenge that's going right now. Whatever Christmas crafty you do, get it on there. And everybody, please support us and go on there and vote. Even if you're not crafty. Vote on what you think is great. It gives people a great confidence boost. And take a nap. Oh, I lost you for a second, guys. I don't know what happened. Um, anyway, please do that. Um, and please like and share the video. Um, 
I appreciate your support, and that's one really good way to support me. And we will also be at uh, Chestnut Avenue Venue for uh, the Cali Indoor, Indoor Market, um, December 10th. And we will be pouring uh, Christmas bulbs. So, um, if you want to pour, they're $3 a piece. You can pour as many as you want. Come hit me up from 5 to 8. I will be there. I will probably stop letting people pour at about 740 so that I'll have time to get that cleaned up. But I got a double booth um, for this show so that I'd have one whole booth space for you guys to, to get creative. So, come and pour with me, would you? All right, again, that's December 10th, 5 to 8. Hope to see you there. You guys go get inspired. Bye.